Jason L says, ask, do the Chinese know about the Moors? Of course they do, because they are Moors. Well, you know, we hear a lot about China, yeah. and I know there's there's the people of China, and then there's the so-called CCP. But when you get down into the backstory, you find CCP out that it is really the Kazarian operators who have invaded China. You right. all remember the Opium Wars, and then you'll understand the Communist Party that have nothing to do with the Aboriginal the people. people of China. They've been under occupation. That's being dismantled also. But what I was going to say is that there's been a lot of gold stolen, Chinese gold stolen yeah. by the U.S. Um, yeah. And Which, so, so you say the Vatican. The Vatican. Yeah, you go. And so they're, you know, everybody's complaining about them coming over here taking land, but they're taking it in Concepts loop. Concepts are wrong. Concepts are wrong. That's what I mean. People Remember, are saying. Remember, that's the hybrid Europeans making those statements. Right. So they're, yeah, they're Chinese saying that. Chinese have been here with us, our brothers. For thousands of years, not hundreds, thousands of years. And if you go to many of the ancient or Chinese elders, and they'll tell you about the Naga, because many of them are descendants of the Naga, coming from Central Omexa, that you now call Asia Soul or Africa today. That's the truth. And for those who want to look at family, etc., how about looking at Nigeria? And then look at a lot of traditions and customs. And then remember some of the activities in Africa dealing with albinos and traditions and customs. Then look again at Tiani, what did you call China, i.e. Manchuria. Even look at the architecture. Mm -hmm. Even look at the headdress with the tassel. Mm -hmm. Look at the structures. Look at the colors. How they're used, the vibrations, the herbs. You gotta understand that we're extended family. Get over it. Here's a question. Noble Drew Ali's parents work where were noble do all these parents Mary and Joseph? Well, you can look at it this one. The principle of, of Mary and Joseph is Isis and Horus, actually. And yes, you come again. But then you got to recognize what you see and where you see. And it needs no proof. Just look at the work. You gotta remember, well, you gotta re you gotta re know, really, because you already know. Because some of you are your own forefathers. So get over that too. A lot of concepts that we've adopted under Rome's misdirection will be cleared up and dissolved. Knee Chronicle asks this question. I, I, I have, this is it's funny. Dr. G, please ask Taj when he thinks the people will get their hands on free energy technology that could help relieve the people's economic burden. Let, before he answers the question, <laughs> no, but before he answers the question, that's just, there's just something that happened today. So um, there was a light in my, in my powder room that blew out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to tell him. There was a light, <laughs> a light blew out in my powder room. So I said to Grand Sheik, we're going to Home Depot. I need to get a new light to replace the light. So he reached up in the socket and he took the one of the two lights, the blown out one, out. And he held it to his cheek and like he was rubbing against his cheek and I thought he was listening to it. I said, what are you doing? And he said, um, I'm electric. And um, sort of, uh, normally I can I can uh, restore you know through this do it this process because I always have I have a lot of electricity running to me. So he rubs the bulb against his face, a 
big round bow, and then he plugs it back up in the socket, and the light comes on. So talking about free electric energy. Well, we're electrical. Baby. You are. He is. If I don't know about me and you, but the Grand Sheik already is dealing with free electrical energy because I have never seen anything like that in my life. I've never seen that. I throw a rub away. I thought you were going to listen to it to see if you could hear the filament, but you rubbed it against your cheek, cheek and, then, and then plugged it back in and it came on. You're electric. Now, you can answer the question. I'll go back to the question. Do <laughs> you have to tell them, but you know how I am. When do you think we'll get our hands on free energy technology that can help relieve the people's economic burden? How can we do what as you this, did? As this, um, as this biological war that's being waged against humanity wanes, and it has the waning of it has much to do with the consciousness of the people. Being that the people are really kind of like being exposed. It has more to do with taking the blinders off of people's eyes. Because the ancient technologies of Hikukta and the Yucatan, that's thousands of years old. That's not even, it's not even thousands, it's actually millions. What have they years. found in tombs? It generators. Like they are going to, this is what's going to happen. They are going to start giving to the public little pieces of technology and instrumentalities to bypass the um, Kazarian operators' um, monopoly on oil and gas and all this stuff, that which is really, really primal. Or very primitive technology goes riding around in tin cans with motors in them. And the reality is after this period that, that you're going through right now is actually a learning period, a lesson period, and then when it opens back up, you'll start being introduced to the, to the natural energy sources that don't enslave humanity, but a little at a time so that you don't go out to lunch. And also, while this period is taking place, you're going to be learning some moral and ethical principles to be restored among humanity so you can stop abusing each other. And also stop being misguided by your misconcepts of what money is and what money is not, and the use of money in the manners that you've been trained for generations because over a period of time, not in this cycle, but at the end of this cycle, that will be phased out too. Okay. Eddie Falk Jr., I don't know what your question or statement is, so you're going to have to repeat it. Um, I apologize. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, this is, excuse me. What is this? Is a key. I don't know what that means. Eddie Falk Jr., you need to make your question a little clearer. It's very confusing. It doesn't even seem, I don't know what you're talking about. So repeat it. In the next few minutes, I'll ask the question. Uh, oh, please break down. Here we go. That one. Because I'm seeing pieces. Please break down Moors as, as it relates to the Americas. You've already done that. Moors is America. Yeah. Moors is only a short. For Al Moroccan, which is the dialectical of Moroccan. Al is Moorish Latin, meaning descended down from Moroccan. Al Moroccan, American, your Moors. That's just short. And America is North, Central, Central and South. South. It is one continent. Don't get confused with the Panama Canal cut through for shipping and trade. All of it is North. West, Southwest Africa, Northwest, Southwest of Mexico. Africa on the other side is East.
and America is ancient Amexum, the prefix AME, and the suffix of Africa put together. That's America. This is only for desert, what you call territorial longitude and latitude uh, locations. That's all. But it's all Africa. All a mexum. And we call the the Earthland also Asia. Because we get Asia. Hey, when you say when you say Asia soul, what do you Asia say? Soul means Asia South that you call it today. Asia Soul, Asia South, the South part. So now you're talking about Dodo, Dodo, King Tyree's daughter. The great matriarch, and of course, Dodo uh, uh, establishes Morocco in the south with South America, and in on that side, and also dealing with uh, Phoenicia, Nefertiti's daughter. That's a uh, that's Phoenicia, or what you call the Iberian Peninsula that you call Europa now today. All of that's you. The pigs. That's why they would call your children picking it. So you're the pics. You're the real your you're the real Europeans. The original Europeans. The Aboriginal of the land. Are you aware of the Treaty of Nanking, eighteen fifty six? Yes. What is that? Is that, it, huh? Does that refer to us? Yeah, all of it. Everything all, all your treaties, when you start doing the research, you'll find that all of these treaties, all of those major treaties, particularly in the 1800s, are dealing, dealing with different Moorish provinces. So don't get confused with the different names, etc. They're just territorials. Just like when the people here, they get confused with the names of their territories. As an example, when we talk about the Renapi. If people say Lena Lenape, it's not Lena Lenape. Renapi. It's because we that see an be, L E. Yeah, Renapi. That would be in this north part of this territory that you call today Delaware. Delaware, Moors, etc. In this, in this area, the Nanakoki. Nanakoki, Moors, etc. And you go do the research and you see they're just simply more. These are territorial names. Don't get it confused. Do you understand? Yeah. And so you see, as the hybrid Europeans, the hybrid Europeans are commonly known as the, the pale face. Like when you hear a lot of our forefathers refer to as the pale face or the Albions, you know, those who have no who have the recessive gene or referred to in the Bible as the people with the lesions on their skin that and we we're put behind a rock. To the lesions were all white, taken first to the Isle of Patmos near Turkey, then taken to the land of Angles, which becomes Ingla land or England. Now, those are hybrids or the results of experiments and also of albinos, which is why England was called Albion when the Moors ruled. So, you need to understand that the hybrid Europeans are simply amalgamated Moors. Which is also mentioned in the Bible. Um, here's a question by Bo Bosi. Hope oh, it's right. Bosi Day. What is the difference between Manchuria and Taini? Taini. Taini. T-I-A-N-I. All reference to the area of China. Both. Mm -hmm. There's no difference, in other words. Yeah. That's why you got to know. You got to really know how. Uh, China is more what you would call political corporate, corporate, trade. Manchuria or Manchurians is really the Naga bloodlines, you know, from Africa. Mm -hmm. um, here's a question. I don't know with the time we have left. Um, when from True Bay, when choosing a partner, what signs need to align in Moorish science? And more signs, when you're talking more signs, you know, like when you look at the circle seven and you see that circle with the seven and then see an opening at the top, opening at the bottom, opening to the left, 
opening to the right. When you take that circle, and it's also referred to as a nimbus. That crowns the head. When you see the nimbus, you see the opening at the top. Opening at the bottom, you see it on the high priest. They also have a nimbus. And they'll use that symbolically in pictures of the anthropomorphic Jesus. So you're dealing with earth and air, fire and water, or Yahweh, which means earth, air, fire, and water. It's not a being in the way that you look, the way that you've been told, etc. Or it's dealing with the elements. Then you have subdivisional elements. And for harmony in nature, in the, in the uh, operations of nature, you make matrimony according to fire and air, basically, and earth and water. And so you look at the constellation energies uh, of the 12 constellations, which are also referred to the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, that's symbolic. That's really constellations. And so your harmonies will be dealing with the nature of the presentment of the body, what is called the sign of the sun. Then you deal with the real being, nature of the being, which would be the moon. And the ascending, or the ascending, that would be the planets as they're lined up at the time of your arrival, etc. The lineup, etc. And you look at the harmonies. And so the mating would be according to the rules of nature. Therefore, everything will be done astrologically according to the heavens. So you would by by nature, if um, if a, a, a man sees or gazes upon a woman and he wants to meet with her, he would have to come to the family and they would do a look at you and look at the daughter. And if you're not harmonic, harmonically mated according to the nature, they would not sanction the matrimony. It's actually called in astrology, synastry. They can, you can get a synastry chart done, a reading done. If you have a person yes. that the two of you, you have the information, the birth time yes. and date, you know, it's about like everybody needs to have the date. A so lot of people you, don't know the time. You would make sure that the planets, at least two, at least in general, at least two of the planets in the Trinity would be harmonic. Now, um, if there's a persistence of the matrimony, you would logically know how to read and know how to navigate with your carpenter's tools, the characters, if there's uh, what you'll call a resistance or a clash, you know, or squaring of, of, of some of the planets. So logically, you would not, you would not, in accord with nature, deliberately uh, mate two uh, who were not naturally harmonic according to the planets. Why? Because you bring be be uh, beings here sick uh, with uh, maladies, etc because they would be dealing with those clashes of the spirit, etc. Now that might sound odd to most of you, but really that's the way that uh, matrimonies were planned. And this is aside from uh, what you would call uh, constructive, um, what you call contributions to the families by design. This is why in, in, in Asiatic African culture, many what you would call matrimonies would be taking place at a very young age, even if they didn't come to the same house together. They already knew that they already they, they were lined already, up. They were already aligned by the families. And this is so that you would not corrupt them, corrupt the continuity of the families. Which meant the families studied and utilized astrology. According to wise men, follow the stars. Right, of course. The dummies rebuke and then create havoc or what you call disharmonies and then of course disharmony creates what you call negative tone and vibration which causes dis-ease there you go okay let me see another question and so now it gets back to the knowledge of the ankh and the womb doesn't it the applied signs of the number nine doesn't it and why that's a part of asiatic african culture and it's ancient but people you know, in modern days, because um, mating and dating has been used as support, as a, a sport, they think it's offensive 
that the parents would protect their daughters and would not let them just meet with somebody to come along that checking out their teasters. Well, it was interesting. You know, I was having a conversation with a brother called me today from Ecuador. Yeah. And he was saying how difficult it is right now with the current situation, mask, social distancing, to find, mm -hmm. uh, you know, someone, uh, you know, to connect. And then, I, then you know, we need, to, we need to say this. I'm now saying, you know, we need to say that my concern with people is that if they have taken the V, mm -hmm. that you need, you know how I used to ask people, you know, what's your status when it came to, did you have an STD or did you have your, yeah. your Petri dish. Yeah. So now you got to be careful about connecting to somebody who's taken a V who will transmit a mutated, a mutation because they get the virus through the shop. Yeah, so you know, and then there's well, a change of bodily fluids and stuff. I'm just being, I'm just being well, real. So you know, did you, did well, you, know? you know, you know, like we talked about earlier today, Dr. Iowa. So soon, the people forget smallpox and blankets given to people, estrogen, and viruses given to people with quote unquote free government cheese. Viruses given to people and sicknesses promoted amongst the Aboriginal people through the Tuskegee experiments, mm -hmm. and they ain't the only ones. And they're falling for it again. They forget Frederick T. Gates with the with the mind control system with the general education boards, and they're from and uh, and they ain't tying it together with um, the name Gates as of late to give them viruses in the name of vaccines mm -hmm. the mark of the beast I mean, there's a whole lot to to be concerned with now if you people know people would pay attention to details they would see it yeah. they don't see it because people don't pay attention to details i heard there was a pastor that recently put it out there to i guess congregation or his congregation or anybody that's going to visit his church if you have to be don't come here yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, they, now they are what a petri dish for the virus because it was just given for the v, for the v. yeah that's it mm -hmm. um here's a one. fernando Plus, they, you know what they haven't been telling the people too that when they take the mm -hmm. virus that is nullifies the v <laughs> the they day. take the v it nullifies their their life insurance policy if, if they if they pass form within a year, anytime within a year, and particularly within weeks or months thereafter, their insurance policy is nullified because the because those vaccines have not been those V's have not been approved lawfully. Therefore, they agreed voluntarily to be petri dish test beds. And they put their own life in jeopardy. Do the research, y'all. There's a question. Oh, Fernando Pizarro says, "Is Puerto Rican a nationality, or am I Taino, Arawak, or more?" Taino and Arawak, Arawak are Carib Moors. Remember when the hybrids took over the Caribbean areas under the Inquisition? Because it has been our tradition, and you can ask your elders, the old African tradition, Bonte, or tradition of the wealth being worn by the women. And we would put the gold and the silver in both their turbans and also around their necks and on their arms. The hybrid Khazarian pretending to be Christians, the Constantinians, would cut off the people's heads and necks of the women and children, stealing the gold, and they reported back to the hybrid monarchs and said, damn, this is a rich fort, and that's how 
San Juan, Boricain became known as the rich port or Puerto Rico, the rich port. No, it is not your name. No, it is not the people's name. No, it's a statement made by inquisitioners who were robbing our people. And remember, they almost wiped the people out and they gathered the different Moorish tribes of Taino and, and, and Arawak from the surrounding islands and repeopled it and killed off a lot of the males and used the women, the young women, as sex slaves. So don't get confused about what you see. That is the truth. No, you're not Puerto Rican. You're Moros, Moro. And most of you who've been to the island knows of those ancient Moorish forts that people from around the world visit. And so your hybrid Paleolith Europeans took over. That's what's going on. Moro. Yes. Anyway, um, we hope that um, we have established uh, enough of stuff that most of you already know that this concept of you being obligated to this fake debt that they've been telling you that we're in is a total fraud, is actually continued inquisition operations. And as you already know over the years, we've been telling you that the IRS is the inquisition operations. And we just shared with you some of the notes from uh, one of the world um, pastors, Alamo, um, who's a Christian, who's telling some of their history. And that, some of those notes that we talked about, you know, Alamo wrote around, it, around the time of uh, um, Reagan being president or praetor for the United States Corporation, that was in your early 80s, etc. But anyway, hopefully that you learn something, hopefully that you're encouraged and uplifted and understand and comprehend that while we were under attack from many areas, and while the truth is, is condemned as being wrong, nevertheless, humanity must be raised up. House of Reawakening Minds is here to support you, support the House of Reawakening Minds so we can continue to do this work. Also, um, that um, as we were talking about earlier, some of these things that, um, that go into a lot of these uh, treaties and activities in a lot of these international war, uh, uh, law cases, the different nation states referring, as we talked about earlier, France and the U.S. Corporation will go into that into more details to make you awaken to the fact that these people that you thought was government are indeed not government and are indeed are operators of a criminal operation of corporation. We support the House of Reawakening Minds because the House of Reawakening Minds supports you. Thank you. Um, you know what? I just I do want to add this. Um, just to let you all know, um, I was sending some funds myself <laughs> to the House of Reawakening Mind via Cash App, and I noticed that when I put in dollar sign reawaken, there was another Cash App that said um, re um, reawakening minds at gmail dot com. That is not us. <laughs> Please do not. When you if you use Cash App to support us or to purchase a, a, a USB drive, please pick the one that says Naila Gilliam under the dollar sign reawaken. I don't know who that other person is who created one with an email address because ours is House of Reawakening Minds, not Reawakening Minds. So please do not send funds. And if you send funds to them, there's nothing I can do about it. But you know, I noticed it. Grand Sheik that somebody else created something mm. very, very similar. Yeah. It is not the house of oh, reawakening yes. minds. Yeah. So mm. I just want to put that out there. Thank you so much yeah. um for supporting as Grand Sheik said the House of Reawakening Minds. Many of you asked questions about uh, when the classes were going are going to start. Grand Sheik, we're going to get together on the Zoom classes. Mm -hmm. Um we will be announcing that um fairly soon hopefully 
um, and we'll also be presenting our the t-shirt line yeah. that'll be coming out. So, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, so some stuff is coming out. Um, just you know, thank you so much. Um, if you did not do this in the very beginning, please like. Please, you know, well, you can, you can still share this, you know. Uh, so please, uh, and if you have not done so, please subscribe to our channel. Um, we'll be putting out. I'm working on a web. I'll be working on a website soon so that you all can get your information to us on the private side, more private side, yeah, so, so that we can be informing be you censored. of something. We can inform you of some things outside yeah. of this venue. So uh, keep your eyes and ears open for that. Again, um, we appreciate you. We appreciate tonight. You 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 did good. Y'all did good. I may have to use my respect to chat when I do when I do office hours. They were pretty good with you, but on Tuesdays it's a riot. But thank you so much for um, supporting House of Real Awakening Minds and um, our efforts. And we're gonna go out with um, my daughter singing. That's a song that she wrote. <laughs> uh, Reawakening Minds. Thank you so much for tuning in.